Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, I'm going to be explaining how to basically move your balloons through the base, how to execute a Laloon attack. Because I'm sure for most of you guys, um, it's pretty much all right, drop Lava Hounds and move in a clockwise or a counterclockwise motion. And that's pretty much it. You know, drop haste and rages where there's to stuff. But really, it's um, there's a little bit more uh, nuance to the attack. And I want to talk a little bit about the the real way you want to deploy your balloons and you want to use the spells on them. Because I did make a video on how to use the haste spell. Um, you can check that out a few videos back. It gets really specific in terms of where on the defense you want to drop the haste spell. So I encourage you guys to check that out if you haven't already. But um, basically in this video we're taking a look at it on a, as a broader... Um, on a bigger scale, an, an overall air attack, how you want to drop these balloons. And um, not the best basis for my addiction, but the great thing about this is um, it doesn't affect the back end Laloon. It makes the kill squad easier, but we're not focusing on the kill squad for this video. We're focusing on the air part, which is um, not a whole lot different than it would be on an anti three star base. And these bases are, you know, they're not terrible. So we're taking a look at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. And uh, right here is Templar Assassin who's going to get it going with a kill squad and we'll focus on his uh, back end Laloon deployment as it happens in just a moment. So the main thing I want you guys to focus on is it's all about the balloons that are already in the base. Those are the ones that are flying first class that you want to give them the good treatment. The rest of the balloons are just the means to which your main group stays inside the base. So you'll see what I mean as he starts his deployment, and I think that kind of rule holds true for every attack you guys will see today, uh, more or less. Basically, um, takes out the CC troops right here, and uh, this is pretty much the part of the base that's left up. I believe he starts from the left here. Would have liked to see the balloons be deployed before the hounds, just to give them um, a little bit of a closer head start. But anyway, the loons come through, and that's his main group. The first balloons he deploys are the ones that are going to end up cutting across the base. You can see, sorry to pause it, but they're already right in by the king altar. This is the main group um, right by the king altar. Those are the balloons that get first uh, priority on spells. Everything else is just a means to keep them inside the base, to keep them from meandering to the outside. Now he will have to use a haste on some of these balloons at the top of the screen in order to keep the, his main group moving forward because he wants them cutting to that inferno tower. Um, kind of misses the cannon so his balloons have to backtrack in just a moment right here as they go from the expo back to the cannon. Um, so a bit of a hiccup right there but not that big of a deal. The main idea is he's dropping the rages, the hastes, for the most part on his main group. That Those are the ones that get good treatment, but it's not exclusively using spells on the main group that's cutting across the middle. He's also using spells on the outside, mainly the, the haste, haste spells as needed to keep his main group inside the base. So we'll definitely take a look at another replay for Town Hall 10 and a few Town Hall 9s, but that's the main thing. You want to make sure that you're your main group, that's going to be the first maybe 10 to 12 balloons you deploy. They will ultimately be inside the base. Those are the ones that you should give good treatment because they make the difference. You can't take out a base just by coming at it from the outside. Really the power in the Laloon is the balloons that cut across the middle. So we're going to go up one, take a look at Dao. Um, you guys probably see this base all the time. It's very common. Um, but regardless, it um, it makes for a good queen walk, especially with a, a dragon CC. But the the Laloon part still holds true to this one, so I fast forward a little bit there. Um, great to queen walk this base. Um, lures out the CC at the top. But if you see these compartments that are nice and uh, no gaps in them, your queen can take out that entire compartment just by standing back behind the wall. So definitely a good job there by Dow, recognizing that and he gets some great value for his uh, his investment. He would have got more value actually, but uh, the dragon ends up taking out his healers, uh, which you know can't do much about that. So unfortunate, but um, gets good value nonetheless. And it comes down to the Laloon deployment as soon as those healers and the queen go down. Um, so he has, I think both infernos to contend with. I don't think his queen gets the inferno. Pops the ability right here. I don't know, maybe she does. I can't remember, actually. Uh, no, it doesn't look like she will. So anyway, comes in, uh, gets those loons down nice and early so the hounds aren't getting hung out to dry right there. And then that's the main group, the two um, little groups coming in on the Tesla and the Air Sweeper. Look how he uses the haste there. And he hastes the balloons on the top right here. Sorry to pause it again. By this... Um, 
by this area. He hastes those loons in because he wants to make sure the main group stays on this inner path that goes around. If they meander too much, they're going to take too much damage. So really, it's all about keeping that main group inside the base, cutting through, using the heals as necessary if you have heals. Uh, right here, everything kind of converges into one group because there's no real outside defenses that need to be taken out. But he's ready for that next... Um, that next possible distraction of the, the compartment right there. So we make sure to send in some balloons, uh, get that cleared out. You can see the group is still cutting through. It's all about cutting down the travel time for your main group moving through the base here. Nice and patient on that last he uh, haste. That was important for that Inferno Tower. Uh, b balloons under haste are much better when dealing with an Inferno Tower because uh, they can get to it so much quicker. So good idea to save the haste there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, basically... I think one of the problems with this uh, Laloon strategy is people see the attacks on, on YouTube or on replay or whatever, and they just think it's all about a clockwise or counterclockwise deployment and targeting defenses and stuff like that. But really, keep in mind the main uh, game here is keeping the, the initial balloons you send in alive, and it make it more complicated. Sometimes people do suicide balloons. Um, we saw that last war a little bit in the CWL for us. Um, there's certain high level techniques, but for 90% of the attacks, you're going to want to just um, follow that one rule about keeping the main group up. There are some variations, of course, where you're going to, uh, to have the main uh, group die and then send in fresh reinforcements, but uh, those tend not to apply as much. So this is a Town Hall 9 attack here, Tom uh, Bombadil, and this one, another good example uh, for Town Hall 9 this time. Basically comes in with the kill squad, another nice CC with the dragons. Those are always fun to take out. His queen actually walks, but he gets lucky. The poisons are enough to take out the dragon, so it's not going to be um, a nuisance for his Laloon. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit because he gets all the value with his kill squad. That's not the focus of this video. Um, but here come the, the Lava Hound. A little bit early on the Hound there. I think he realized that, so we got the haste down just to get those loons in as quick as possible because the Hound was taking damage from two air defenses. So there's the rest, and you can see here are the reinforcements. He goes ahead and hastes the bottom reinforcements to make sure they really get the job done. The haste on reinforcement balloons, not your main group, um, is only to speed up the process and get the funnel even quicker. And oftentimes your reinforcements join your main group. Um, so it's not like your, your main group of balloons is only the first 10 balloons you deploy. It can also be the reinforcements joining up. But just keep in mind, whatever the group that's cutting across the middle is, that's the group you want to focus on and keep up. So he actually crushes this base and uh, just the reinforcements all around, keeping the uh, travel time short. And the problem, just so I can put this in perspective, if you don't do it this way and if you try to haste in your loons that are reinforcing and they, they kind of cut off your main group, it's really ineffective because basically what ends up happening is... You don't have any balloons naturally cutting across the you, you, like the majority of your balloons, your main uh, firepower, which is going to be that that group that's cutting across the main group, as I call it. It's not going to be the balloons that are actually engaging the middle defenses, such as the Expos or the Inferno Towers. And it's going to be the balloons that you prematurely haste into the base. The reinforcements that should just be playing the sideshow they shouldn't be doing anything besides funneling your main group into the middle if those balloons are sent in too deep they're not going to be strong enough to take anything out they're going to end up getting taken out you're going to be low on balloons as a result and oftentimes they won't get the full value and they'll cause your main group to have to meander all around the base and if there's like a graph that ever existed of balloon travel time in like three star success you'll see that um you're much more likely to get the three star if you can cut down the balloon travel time, specifically for the uh, the initial group you send in that ends up cutting across the middle of the base. So anyway, another Town Hall 9 attack here. This one, uh, Kill Squad to get the uh, triplets, baby dragons in there actually. And um, he's going to come in with a Laloon on the backside. Not a ton of value, but gets the queen, gets the CC, gets the, uh, the air defense, and the queen uh, still has her ability. So... Um, he'll pop that in just a moment. But here's the Lava Hound. Here's the Loons. Uh, good deployment there. The uh, Hound tanks the Wizard Tower. Goes ahead and hastes those Loons in just to make sure that the, they don't take too much damage from the Wizard Tower. So 
good decision there. And that's the main group. Basically, those balloons he sent in right there is going to constitute the main group. But look at the next groups already in to take out the mortar. Um, he'll send in more groups uh, after that just to take out these defenses and make sure his main group is going to the expos like he wants it. And, and once again, there's the heel on the, the main group of balloons. I know I've said main group like a ton of times this video, but I don't know what else to call it. Um, he's using the, the spells on that group of balloons and that's where you want to do it. The haste, you want to use very sparingly where it's needed on the outside of the base, but you want to use the spells, um, the majority of them, as your balloons cut across the middle of the base. A big mistake people make is they just haste in each group of balloons. Like it's almost like a horseshoe type pattern. They just, you know, send in loons in a clockwise formation and drop a haste on like each group as it enters the base. That's like the worst way you can do it. You want to focus your spells on the main group and you want to basically, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not subsidize, that's a weird word. Uh, you want to aid, I guess, those balloons. You want to um, supplement, There's, that's the word, supplement those balloons with the, the loons coming from the sides, the reinforcements, but those are not the star of the show. They're just to take out that first layer of defenses, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So um, anyway, that'll do it for this video. Hope it makes sense. I'll answer any questions in the comments below, and the update's coming out soon, guys. I have some really cool, good news some huge stuff happening to the channel. Um, you'll find all about all out about it, something like that. You'll find out about it on Wednesday, uh, most likely. So stay tuned. Should be cool. But for now, hope you like the video, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow or in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.